So, taking in the 10th round, 300th overall, tell me about your emotions like when you heard your name. Uh, it was cool. I mean, uh, hanging out at home is week 10, uh, week 10 of school. So, uh, you know, not doing much. Uh, kind of getting ready to study for finals. Uh, it was me and my roommate. Um, you know, I was, I was pretty excited when I figured out that I was going to be going to the Diamondbacks uh, playing in Hillsboro. Uh, it's, it's really, I'm pretty fortunate to be so close to home uh, as my first stop. Was it kind of a whirlwind, you know, hearing your name, then having to like, immediately just go back down to Arizona, and then immediately they ship you right back up to Oregon? Well, uh, I had to end up finishing school first, so I, that next, I had two weeks, I think, left of school at that point. Uh, you know, Donnie Reynolds was really cool, really cool about it, and the whole organization was cool about it. Uh, I, was, I was able to finish up my finals, uh, go up, sign, uh, get a physical, and then uh, end up going up on the bus with the team uh, to Everett. Uh, what was your, did you have a welcome to the pros moment once you became a hop? Uh, no, not really. I mean, uh, I was still wearing my orange cleats that first weekend, uh, so that was kind of a kind of a welcome to the pros moment when I put on my first pair of black cleats this summer, I guess. Uh, what's it like? I mean, obviously, you know, when you were with the Beavers, you got to fly a plane, you know, to road games. Now you're busting at 10 hours. You know, how has that transition been? Uh, you know, it's uh, it's pretty similar to most summer leagues. Uh, I played in the Northwoods League in Wisconsin, and uh, the bus trips there are pretty much the same. Um, you know, I talked to Case a little bit. He talked about the Texas League and how back then it was – you, you got on the bus after one game to make it to the next game, and uh, I think I'm, I think we're pretty fortunate right now to uh, be able and, and uh, enjoy the summer here in the Northwest. Going back to your career as Beaver, what are you gonna miss most about Corvallis? Uh, the people. I mean, you, you meet a lot of good people there. Um, I'm sure I'll stay in touch with most of them, but those that I don't stay in touch with, you know, you'll miss them. You'll miss uh, the personalities, I guess. Uh, do you still stay in contact with a bunch of your former teammates? Oh yeah, uh, we st we got group group messages on the on the cell phones, and uh, I think it's Dylan Davis's birthday today, so he's turning 21. He'll be playing in Kaiser uh, this year, so I'll I'll be excited to see him. So not much of a 21 run probably for him. He'll probably be too busy. I think he's stuck in Arizona right now. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> Uh, do you feel like you have like you know you lack closure in your Beaver career and you get, with you guys not making it to Omaha again this year? I mean, you think about it. Uh, I got together with Benny and uh, Michael and Dylan and you know Espo, and uh, we talked about it. I mean, it's it, it didn't feel like closure at all. Uh, and really, we were thinking like, what are we gonna do with ourselves for the next next two weeks? Because uh, you know that. It, it felt like sophomore year all, all over again when we lost to LSU in that regional uh, down in Baton Rouge. And, you know, we had higher expectations for ourselves and, and felt like we could have gone further. But, you know, we lost to a good Irvine team that ended up going where we would have liked to go. Have you gotten over the loss to Irvine? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, what, six weeks later now. Uh, you know, Robago's their shortstop is on uh, Tri-Cities. We've got to play against him. Uh, last week and uh, you know it's it's just baseball uh, life goes on but I mean uh, I'll still have a lot of great memories of, of my teammates back in Corvallis. What do you think about this uh, school, Beaver squad next year? I mean they lost a lot of guys. You, Wetzler, you know Fry, Conforto, I mean a big chunk of all the stars are gone. Like what, what do you think is gonna, gonna be able to step up and fill the shoes? Well I mean my freshman year we lost a big chunk of stars too. I think we had eight pitchers drafted in that uh, 2010 class and uh, we ended up uh, making it to a super plane in Vanderbilt, right. uh, one of the greatest greatest programs in the nation that year. Um, I feel like Coach Coach Yeski and Coach Casey and Bales, they'll find a way. I mean, uh, it, it doesn't have to be flashy like it was the last two seasons. I mean, they recruit grinders at Oregon State and, I mean, uh, find, find ways to win. Uh, so, I mean, Moore will probably take the forefront. He just won, actually, the, the they speak Japan today, Team USA, to win the championship. So, what, who do you see coming into rotation, other pitchers other than Moore? Uh, there'll be a few guys that they try out. I mean, they got freshmen coming in this year, um, a few a few real good ones. I think uh, Zach Reeser, who's back for his uh, senior season, he'll, he'll, he should step in and have a prominent role. Uh, he's one of my good buddies. And uh, I think Max Engelbeck should should – stay healthy all year and really I think I think he's got what it takes so being a dad how do you balance what's the difference between balancing being a father 
from you as a collegiate to, to now you as a professional? Uh, similar. I mean, you, you, you're you able to keep in touch with them a little bit easier. Uh, just you don't have as busy of a schedule during the day. Um, it's, a, it's a long night, but, I mean, you're able to tuck her in at night uh, when you call her on the phone. So it, it's 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 pretty – it's really not that much different. How old is she now? Three and a half. Does she realize that her daddy's a pro ball player? Uh, yeah, I think so. She, they surprised me at the game up in Hillsboro uh, on Friday night. Oh, cool. Uh, and you know, she likes baseball. She, she's been around the game since she was what four months old. So, do you expect her to be on the diamond here when she's in uh, high school? Probably. She'll probably be playing a lot of sports. Uh, you know, she'll she'll do what she wants to do. I'm not I'm not really thinking that far ahead right now. When you think about yourself, though, uh, two, three years on a row, where do you see yourself at? Hopefully, I'm still playing ball. I mean, I'd like to. I like to play for as long as I can. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a dream of a lot of, of of a lot of people in this world, and it's it's only a very select few that get to get the opportunity to play baseball for, for a living. And uh, I mean, just I'm gonna, I want to see how far it takes me. And uh, lastly, any uh, you know, any shout outs to anybody in Corvallis? What do you want to say to, the, to all the Beaver fans out there? Uh, you know, uh, just stick with it. You know, football season's coming up. It's going to be a good season for the Beavers, I feel like. And uh, go Beavs.